Hello, Bobby. It is me. Oh, yeah. Hello, yeah. boys and girls. Yeah, Bobby, how's it going, Brute? You look. It looks like you've had a nice, a nice afternoon deep sea fishing, Brute. Yeah, yeah he's a ship. <laughs> <laughs> put your camera down a little bit. Can you put your camera down a little bit? There you go, Lekker. I'd like to. Oh, right. So, have you been listening into the show? Bobby? Yeah, I've been sort of tagging along for the last 20 minutes. All right, so you're here from Jair there in uh, Amsterdam on his self-imposed quarantine and the lockdown and a few shops open and stuff. How's it going in Richards Bay? What, what, what level of quarantine are you guys working at? Yeah, it's business as usual in Richards Bay, you know. <laughs> it's a zoo land, you know. Uh -huh. Not Disneyland. Yeah, so, uh, no, uh, on a serious note, um, yeah, you know, being a little bit more of a rural community, we kind of uh, we we kind of sort of all pulling together, yeah, you know, which is wonderful. And obviously, our influence on our local community has been positive. We got a visit from the mayor um, of Richard Bay, which is fantastic to discuss better just how corporate business can get involved. But, yeah, and we just a corporate business. Right? And how are we going to help, help people? And how are we going to fight this problem? So uh, yeah, man, it's, it's it's going good. Hopefully we we can stop fighting amongst each other and, and actually get on and do the job. You know what I mean? Well, I've seen so. You know, when Myrtle and I were away, we check in on everything all the time. Obviously, it's very easy to. And we saw um, yeah, sure. we saw some posts of you with some um, immune boosting stuff, and I saw another picture of people out at a robot. Do, handing out stuff for you, you, you seem to be very proactive about just doing shit full stop. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's a sort of a stoner mentality, if you know what I mean. You know, when, when people are need, it doesn't matter who they are, it's, it's about us getting off our asses and doing something about it instead of, instead of sort of, oh, let's wait around for the government to do something. You know, if they're politicians, we as people are going to, going to change it and I strongly think that uh, the coronavirus problem will be solved by a natural medicine and I strongly believe it. Um, so yeah, that's my standpoint point on it. I think it's a bit too, it's a whole of the half, 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 you know. <laughs> and is it, is it, what's the, what are the cops position on weed in your part of the world now? Are they kind of have they kind of relaxed a bit because you wouldn't believe since Myrtle and I have been back the day we got back on whatever it was two days ago there was three busts on the fucking hotline on Tuesday Tuesday morning or whatever it was so the cops are still throwing fucking human beings in metal boxes which I assure isn't more than with is less than two meters apart how's it going there? Jules the thing is uh I think with, with us being very proactive in who we are in our community, our local police are cool guys. They support us. Um, we supplied our local police station with uh, hand sanitizer, 50 bottles of hand sanitizer for their processing room. Uh, we know exactly their processing room. We've been there a good couple of times. <laughs> uh, you know, we're being, you know? The community of getting involved and saying yes we're doing something good doesn't matter who we are it doesn't matter that we stay this doesn't matter who you are we, this is a humanitarian process and governments are not going to solve it they need our help as citizens they're not going to solve it by themselves and you know if you better to step up than the than the guys that know the best the stoners you know, we, we've been doing this we know what this is about and it's the only industry that survives because nobody wants credit nobody gets credit that's the nature of drug dealing is they take us. Yeah, I so guess. Now, all of a sudden, our economy is, is, is sitting there and saying, hey, we can solve the problem. And they're listening. It's great. And so, uh, have you met the mayor before? Has the mayor been to the foundation in the past? Or is this a brand new cold call? No, the mayor's a regular supporter. <laughs> 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 no, don't say, don't say too much, Bruce. This is a medicinal product. I uh, can't elaborate anymore. Well, I think it's good that, you know, that that's you stepping up there and helping those police stations get their act together. Good work. Yeah, man, we, they're not our enemies. We make them our enemies. They, 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 they in some respect, make, that's their choice to make us, the, to make them our enemies. But, 
you know, in the end of the day, it doesn't matter what clothes you've got on, you're a human being, and those guys are in the front line, and as much as we hate them for busting our balls, they, we need the cops, we need them. Instead of stop hating on them, let's help them. Uh, I mean, it's the same attitude they have towards anyone that doesn't know how to do it. Yeah, government, police, whatever, I'm happy to help. I'm here, I'll help you. Cool. Now you're right. You're... I guess. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Because if, if you were to, you know, if, if all these police stations started seeing, you know, more of anyone, doesn't matter who it is, whether it's Stone or it's someone else, and they start actually helping the cops, or at least maybe um, just you know treating the cops like another person and not like the enemy, they would. Then those cops would then essentially see, uh, hopefully, they would see the good in certain people. And if it's coming from a community of Stoners all the time, I think it's going to might just just show them something, but. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do. It is yeah, a lot of work, but... I fully respect what you but I have to say, fuck the police, man. Ah, Joey! Well, go and say, fuck the fire department, you know? It's not about the police. The police are there to interpret... The, they're, they're not there to interpret the law. They're there to enforce it. You know, yeah. they're not our enemy. They, they're merely minions. Of, of a bigger state that defines how it should be done. So we should be tackling it at the root cause, not the symptom. The police are the symptom of the problem. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So, um. Joey, it says, uh, I want hashtag, I want to speak to your boss. No matter how you go up the chain, I want to speak to your boss. Um, so, Bobby, I've got one last question. For for you before I let you go, um, this because this is so crazy, and even S Stephen King couldn't have written the screenplay for any of this. It's way beyond the realms of f fiction now. What's your favourite conspiracy theory at the moment? Well, <laughs> um, and I and I mean it. I mean it as a light-hearted thing. Flu kills as many people, spreads as fast as any other flu. It's just a virus like any other flu and can be prevented if your immune system is strong. That's number one. If you stay next to a 5G tower, it's going to break down your immune system so you get that shit quicker. So, two points of advice. Cool. Yeah, stay away from 5G. Stay away from 5G, smoke a lot of weed and keep your immune system up. Peace, love, happiness, guys. Great, so 5G's the one that's tickling you at the moment, is it? Because fuck, there's some really funny shit going on. What's yours, Joe? What's your favourite one at the moment? My favourite one is... Conspiracy. Conspiracy? Oh, man. There must be one that... I'm actually not sure. They're also confusing at the moment. It's like a biological weapon, right? Yeah, that one, yeah. But, um, <coughs> it's also a government conspiracy to reduce the population. Make us more okay. controllable. I don't know I've heard that. Um, and I comment. Yeah. I don't okay, know. Yeah. I'm not an expert. I'm just yeah, looking for the Well, I, I'm, I'm. A lot of conspiracy theories saying, ah, oh, no, uh, 5G doesn't cause the coronavirus. Fair enough, it doesn't. But, guys, if we look at it, 2G, 3G, 4G, and then place for about as long as cancer rates have gone through the roof. So, hey. Archie's just turning up the volume of it. That's it. Yeah. Strongly though, it does break down the human immune system to a degree where you are susceptible to these viruses. Where under normal stand circumstances or non exposure to five G's that you wouldn't be. So that's my take. Okay, well Ed I was I was asked immune systems. I was asking the question in kind of a light hearted way, but uh, there's not much there's if you, I just wanted to know, 5G is tickling you at the moment. Um, I have no opinion. I think they're all, some of them are absolutely fucking hilarious. But I get them all. I get that I get that there is no such thing as a conspiracy theory anymore. It's the fucking real deal. Anyway, Bobby, it's been good to chat to you, Bru. We... It should be called the 5G virus, not the, not the coronavirus. How do you spell the G? Okay, 5G virus. <laughs> Yeah, all the media is, I did not sign up to fucking survive some kind of zombie apocalypse. So, people just, just make it stop now. Ah, <laughs> uh, Joey, you always survive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheers, Bobby. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks for coming on. Peace, love, Okay, so he's... Um,
He's the only guy I know in South Africa at the moment that's handing out sanitizers to his local cop. So that's pretty good stuff coming in from Bobby. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs>